Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome to a new series. Today we're gonna be checking out Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. First things first, the music is really rocking right now. <laughs> Second things, this is a um, city builder game uh, that has kind of a like transport tycoon -y feel to it as well. Uh, it released on Steam uh, last week. Uh, it's on early access right now, and I believe it, you can buy it for uh, around 20 euros. Uh, so, what is this game all about? It's a bit different than standard city builders. Uh, and you will see how that works uh, later on. But, it kind of doesn't just use just money or just resources or something like that. It's all kind of mashed up. You can use money to build buildings. Or... You can build buildings that will produce certain resource for, resources for you and then you use resources and workers to build buildings for you. It's uh, it's very in-depth, it's very, yeah, complex game uh, and I played it for like five minutes. I looked through the menus and looked through all of that and I will tell you that uh, there's a lot to it. <laughs> there's a lot to it. I also noticed that in like three days since it released on Steam uh, it already got like over 600 very positive reviews, so yeah, it's it's good. It's good I'm telling you that but now let's play and see how fast I can get myself Lost now this game can be very difficult if you set it to be very difficult right now location is just the this one Eastern Europe medium hills blank and We can over here. We can set the population which Sure we can set it like something like I don't know this is fine. Uh, over here, difficulty. Uh, if you're playing this for the first time, easy is probably a very good idea. Uh, we're gonna go on something custom, custom over here. Uh, we're gonna go with money amount. We're gonna go with medium, I guess. Let's uh, set it all to medium first. Now, over here, unsatisfied citizens. I'd see. Let's let's leave it at medium. I'd say. Energy management. Now, if you play on easy, this is fine. Your buildings will not need. Uh, power I mean you will not need to provide power to them if you enable this every building there is every town there is on the map you will actually have to supply them with power because all, otherwise they're gonna be unhappy we're gonna go even higher we're gonna get vehicles will use fuel as well I'm gonna try that I, I wanna go uh, kind of hard on this one so let's try it night, night day cycle we'll leave it on building fires we're gonna leave it on normal because I don't frequent I don't know if that's really needed global events are not in yet which is unfortunate but hey it's early access so that's fine pollution will enable year of start we're gonna go early as possible vehicles we're gonna lock according to year and education simulation we're gonna leave on the complex which means that parents will not work unless their kids are in kindergartens which is yeah so let's load in I will be able to explain more how the game works as we are on the map and as we can see but as I said before it's not just a city builder it gives me a big uh, transport tycoon vibe and transport tycoon deluxe is a game I played a ton when I was way younger uh, and I really love that one so uh, we'll see how it works over here okay we are in let's let's pause for a second and you know what I really need to lower the music it's it's awesome but I really need to lower it because it's very loud. Sorry. There you go. That's much better. Okay. So over here we have the whole map. As you can see, it's huge. It's really big. And also that's what she said. Right? <laughs> very funny. Uh, there's cities on the map. So over here there's a town of Sigriopol. It has a church. And it has some houses where people live. And they're okay on happiness, satiated, healthy, government loyalty, alcohol, culture, enjoyment, support, uh, sports enjoyment, religious sympathy, clothes, quality. Uh, you can see uh, what this guy can reach from this house. So if you build something uh, like a, I don't know, work area over here, they won't actually be able to walk there because it's going to be too far, probably. Uh, so that's a town. That's a town. Plenty of towns around. There's a, a Vera over there on the river. Tiro on the river. That's, I guess, part of the Tiro. Now, let's uh, let's find the border. Uh, I would like to find a border. I know there's a fastest way, faster way to move this. Ooh, trees, trees. 
Now, from the borders... I don't know which borders, but I think from the borders you can actually get... Um, some import resources. So, uh, I think there's a border over here. Yes, let's go. There's a border over here. You can see, so over here... There's like a different country, so this is like a west western country. Oh, we move faster like this. There you go. So over here, there's a there's a potter house, which is a custom house. So from here, you could actually import far foreign powers. Well, just just power, not foreign powers, because that sounds weird. But foreign power, you could buy here for dollars because this is western block, and we also have uh, rubles, which is well us because we're eastern block, right? Right. So that's something uh, you need to keep in mind if you're playing like that. Also, there's the Reds. I wonder who that could be. Uh, they don't have power, apparently. That's fine. And yeah, where do we want to start doing something? Now, let's look into the uh, infrastructure. So over here, uh, we can build roads, railways, uh, plenty of stuff. Uh, but the most interesting thing is, of course, construction. So under construction, we have construction-related industry. So construction offices, gravel extraction and manipulation, concrete and asphalt, open space storage, warehouses, platforms and terminals. Uh, let's go back. Residential buildings. There's some of them. Uh, education stuff. You have food and crops industry. You have oil, bitumen, fuel, various industry. What is under various? Wood, clothing. Electronics and mechanization industry. That's cool. Gravel, coal, iron, storage, warehouses, energy related, trees and accessories. Economy, trade, plenty of stuff. We have uh, dollar dues, rubies of here. So that's it. So, uh, how do you do? You don't really now need to build a city because cities are already built, right? Right. You need to... Uh, start doing some production and importing stuff to your cities so let's see what we can do uh, let's check maybe this uh, town of Trifo over here uh, let's see how they feel so they have an old city house uh, they're satiated and all that stuff uh, buildings are without power supply they are without jobs and five of them are currently without power so there's buildings that don't have power supply so what we could do is bring the power over here but let's not let's not go there let's actually pick a um, production that we're gonna work on maybe <clears throat> so let's uh, pick up industry we could do wood industry right we could do a wood cutting post and uh, we could do a sawmill and then start maybe exporting this to Terrafo if they want it. I don't know if they want it. Uh, maybe they do. Who knows? As I said, I played this game for like five minutes just to check things out. So I have no idea what I'm doing. Now, over here you can see we can buy this woodcutting post for uh, 30,000 rupees, right? Or we could uh, cash this out and we're going to need uh, to build this. We're going to need 217 work days. 5 tons of asphalt, 5 tons, 8 tons of concrete, 10 tons of boards, 6 tons of gravel, and 1.5 tons of steel. So you can see, you can build in two ways. Spend money. Thank you for saving the game. Spend money or uh, do this thing. I don't, look, game, you don't need to save this often. That's fine. So, uh, I'd rather, you know, when you start, you use the, the money because that's how it works. Now. Uh, how about we do that woodcutting post and see where we can do it? So it needs a flat terrain. You can uh, you can lower that thing. We can turn it around and uh, we can we can build a road first. Yes. Now where do we want to put this bad boy? Is my is my question. Uh, probably somewhere around and also close by so people can actually go to work here. I kind of like the idea uh, to do that. So. Uh, hmm. Uh, if we hold this mouse, left mouse button, we can fix uh, the terrain a bit. Really? This is not enough? No. Hey, there we go. Now we can do it, right? Kachink. Okay, so we're gonna build this. Uh, we can unpause. There's no need to be paused. And uh, we should be able to connect this with road. We're just gonna go with a gravel road. It's connected from here, and let's go this way. Oh, okay, this is on a hill, uh, which is going to be problematic now. 
So how about we raise the terrain a bit? So it's not gonna be so steep. Who knows? Exactly. Uh, how? How? Oh man. Okay, we can build. We can do it in this way. Sure. This is this is this is fine. Right? No? Come on. Almost. Okay. It was almost fine. Road building in this game can be uh, bad. Just uh, gonna say. Oh. We were we were there. We are almost had it. Come on. Please. <laughs> yes! We've done it! We've built a road! Uh, let's connect now down this way. Yes. Oh, we have built a road! We have managed to build a road over here. Now, uh, let's take a look at this thing. It has zero workers right now. And it doesn't have power. No workers or trucks. So this thing is probably gonna need some trucks, right? The music just changed to something completely unexpected. Okay, uh, we can buy no vehicles or mechanisms for this. How about this one? Yeah, okay. So we can do uh, these two things that will probably... They have capacity for wood. Okay, so let's buy maybe this one. That one can then operate over here when required or needed or something like that. So let's uh, do the smart thing and maybe bring them power over here. Oh my god, this road. <gasps> I think that's the worker. Oh, did you? Oh, they're coming to work. They're walking up here to work. Uh, let's see something. You can't reach that? Can you reach it? No. Can you reach it? Yeah, that, that, that guy can reach it. Okay. So, you were saying... Uh, you can only be reached by that house. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, I wonder if you can build a pathway up here. I know there's pathways. Mm, I don't know exactly where they are, though. So that's, uh, that's another road, but I would like to just find a pathway, maybe? We'll find a pathway. Don't you worry about that. It's probably under infrastructure, right? Roads? Railways? Hey, pa food paths. Uh, mud, just a normal one. Can you, like, connect over here? Some other infrastructure is in the way. Your mum is in the way. So, we can do it down here. And connect it here. Hey, I hope this works. Yes, now they're using that pathway. No, they're not. I thought they will. Uh, we lied. So, you still only have connection to that guy. So, you see, we, we will need more workers up here. I thought this this is going to be close enough, yet it isn't. Hmm, maybe if we had the row down here, it would work. It didn't. That's fine. So, these guys over here have two out of 30 workers. Um, that's okay. There's a lot of uh, wood in the forest. It's going to need power, though. So, let's go to our friendly neighbors, which I think was down here, and let's buy some power from them. This is gonna cost us a lot, I think. There you go. Um, did they have? They had power over here, so this is pretty close. We are at Trifo, I believe. Okay. So over here we can say, uh, let's buy, uh, let's buy like uh, three megawatts of power. Import, import. There you go. So we're gonna be now paying over here. Game, please stop with the saves. It's fine. It takes a long time to save, apparently. So we now need to connect this power thing. So uh, let's go with probably high voltage. Yeah, it connects over here. So we now need to go this this way. Far, far away. As you can see, the price in rupees is going cray cray. Oh yeah. Uh, we need to go that way. Trifo. Okay. Uh, let's connect with you and just follow the road, maybe. Just follow the road. This is acceptable. Please. Okay, let's get here. Uh, I want to see if I can bring it over the river over here somewhere. So we're paying a lot to get this. Of course, we could do like our own coal station. But again, I think that one actually needs power before you can actually do the the coal station so hey okay we're bringing it over the hill it should be somewhere around 
right? Uh, did I... Wait. Um, am I in the right track? Go here. I need to turn around. Yeah, uh, I was going that direction. We need to go that direction. Yes, indeed. Uh, camera movement can sometimes be obnoxious. That's fine. Okay, this is where we wanted to go. So let's bring this power down here somewhere. For real, though? Oh, it's going over the river again. Uh, fine, let's bring it up here. Yeah, chop some of the forest. Power is coming in over here. Now, the thing is, I believe this, this power is not just gonna connect over here, right? You're gonna need, like, power stations and stuff. Such. So, <clears throat> I think we need a power transformer over here. And, uh, so over here we would be able to connect to that big one. Let's do this over here, sure. And then I believe from here I can connect here. And then we need the smaller version. Mm, actually, let's go back here. And this one, the smaller version? Yeah. So the substations, I believe, will then actually provide the power for this thing. So let's build one down here. ka -ching. Okay, and then maybe one on this side of the river, but you know what? We don't care about those people yet. So, I think now we connect... Oh, I should have... I should have connected the other way. Crap. Um, okay, medium voltage wires. Wires. Angle too sharp. Yeah, your mom is also too sharp. Let's get it here. And then uh, get it here. Okay. It's getting dark. So, that should now be connected. And this bad boy... Oh, he's providing lights for the city. Do you see that? It just... Let's not zoom too far. Oh, are we... I think we don't have enough, actually. Because it's turning on and off. It turns on. Well, why... Why, why don't we have enough? <laughs> That's a good question. Can you only like uh, do one megawatt or something? I, I To be honest, I have no idea how this works. This is the first time I've done it. But uh, clearly this does not seem proper. Oh, but the truck is working now. Look at that. Woo. What you gonna do? I want to see this. I've never seen this before. Sir, what you doing? I like that. Oh, is there some... There's some logs over here. He's picking up logs. <gasps> oh, this is great. I like it. Now, the mystery of weird power persists. Now, there's a question. Is this... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Either I'm not uh, buying enough power... To power the whole city of Tiro. It's either that or who knows. Oh, there's no kindergarten. Well, that's not my priority right now. I'll have you know. <laughs> I'm just happy that the truck is actually doing some stuff. Now, we're going to need fuel for trucks, right? He's going to run out of fuel. Uh, I think that might be something we want to work on next. Not... Right away on uh, the power. I know power is a problem, but how about we see if we can work on some fuel stuff. Okay, game. For real though, please stop with the autosaves. I need to turn this off. Hmm. Um, yes, power. Not the best, but... Uh, I wonder if you do, like, uh, two of these. So, uh, if we do two of these, right? Will that alleviate some problems? Who knows? Who knows? Weren't you connecting over here? There you go. Okay, let's do that and let's do the medium voltage. You know what? Are these wires not strong enough or something? Who knows? Let's connect you there. So we did two of these now. Well, it's a good thing it's daytime, so I can't really see. 
Ooh, I think this might be it, because this seems like it has power now. Operating without issues. <gasps> oh, look at that. So we have trees ready to transport. Uh, what are we going to do next, since we are so amazing at this thing now? Let's go and build a sawmill. I would like to build a sawmill as close as possible to this thing. What infrastructure are you talking about? There's some infrastructure that is bugging this thing. I don't know which one though. Ah! We can do it here. We can do it here. Please. ka -ching. Good. Okay, let's see if we can actually connect it to a, a road. Yes, we can. No worries whatsoever. So hopefully there's gonna be like more people capable of walking in here and working here rather than this bad boy. I only have one set of people working here. And this one also has a uh, power. So, uh, check out the reads. No workers, no resource, missing wood. So, now we should have a truck. I don't know if this one. I think we need like a separate truck for this. Because this one is just picking up resources, right? Oh, look at all the workers coming to uh, work over here. That's great. Hmm. So, no, you don't have any uh, special vehicles to work here. So, what we could do is build a uh, depot. Build road tunnel. No, no, no. Platform. Trucks. Yeah, road, vehicle depot, and gas station. This is two things we need to build. I don't know what infrastructure you're talking about over here. It can be built up here, though. Sure. Uh, I mean, we can have the depot down here. We can have the depot just down here. Yeah, let's build that one over here. We're gonna also need the gas station. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? Really? You can't connect over here? That makes me sad, you know? That makes me very sad. But fine. You get to have this, then. Can we build up here? Can we build this way? We can, kinda. Let's go this way. Thank you. And then let's go... I'm sure we can do this. Does this connect to the road? Let's go this way. And let's see if we can uh, get it nearby. No. Oh, man. Oh, that's another road. Um, no, you see, I would like to make this like normal. Like normal people do. <gasps> yes! That's exactly what I wanted. Good. Okay. that's That seems perfect. Now, over here, what we're going to do is we're going to buy a new vehicle. Um, so, what do we need to do? Covered hull? Uh, no, not you. Do we have different ones? Oh, we have different ones over here. Road vehicle, yes. Uh, so, open hull, probably. And you can do wood. Yes. Okay, let's buy this this bad boy. We click on him. And we have him go load wood over there. And then go here and unload stuff. And go. Let's see if that works. He's going for it. He's definitely going for it. This should work. We should also have a road connection in between. Oh my god, the speed of this guy. <laughs> the speed of this guy, I love it. I love it. Now, I might I might not know exactly what I'm doing playing this game. But, I'll have you know, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a ton of fun figuring out what am I actually doing in here. Good. Okay, so let's see if uh, you're gonna go that way. Okay, that's that's okay. So we have uh, a lot of tons over here. Uh, that's not the tons. That's the tons. This guy's picking up. Okay. Now, how do you make money in this game? You'll ask. Well, I have no idea. Is uh, what I'm gonna tell you. Hmm. So, 
Yeah, uh, I'm gonna demolish this this thing because it's not useful. Fine. And I'm gonna see if I can uh, get a road connecting like here. Here. And then... Well, here is fine. Okay, now let's see if more people... Yes! Two houses can now work here. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so this guy did load up wood. So he has seven tons of wood going down the hill. Let's see if he's gonna take this turn now. So this place has 11 out of 20 workers, and this place has 1 out of 30. Well, it's fine. Yes, you're, you're coming. Now, what we must make sure is that these guys don't run out of fuel, because that could be a problem. Uh, so next thing we're gonna need to set up is fuel, and we're gonna probably ha gonna have to uh, import it again. Because that kinda... it kinda sucks, but it's probably what we're gonna have to do. Okay, he's delivering stuff. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. He has done it. And we are now making boards. Woohoo! We are making boards, right? I think you already made all the stuff available. So we now have five tons of boards that I'm not sure what to do with. But that's, you know, fine. Next thing we're gonna do is... Can we rename the city? Yes! This is gonna be... Uh, what shall we name it? Comrade Coco's uh, That's a good question. You know what just Comrade Coco is uh, perfect name of the city Awesome. All right. Uh, we have done the starting thing that I don't know if it's gonna do much for us or not But uh, this fun this game is a lot of fun. I am having a ton of fun and I'm gonna keep on playing it Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please consider dropping a comment down below. Should like, subscribe, and see more doing magic. And I'll see you next time. Kick her out.